Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video we will be creating an outstanding liquid logo reveal without using any third party plugins. By the end of this video you will be able to create your own animation using some really interesting techniques and cool steps. So without wasting any more time let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon or Ctrl plus N, this is gonna be final, of course you can type your own text here, 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration 7 seconds long. Now let's create the background, go right click, find here new solid layer, I will rename this one to background, hit OK and then go here in the facts and preset and if you can find this option, just go window and you will find a facts and preset here. Let's type fractal noise okay drag and drop onto the layer and here let's make a few adjustments for the contrast let's type 105 for the brightness 35 complexity lower down 5.5 okay now open up this transform option instead of 100 let's type 200 okay and now let's add our next effect here in the facts and preset this is gonna be a bus effect drag and drop here on the layer and here also let's make a few adjustments for the direction, let's type 90, relief 5, ok, and let's add third effect, this is gonna be Triton, drag and drop also on the layer, and here for the highlights let's change this to maybe cyan blue color, you can play around also with your colors, for the midtones let's change to dark blue color, and then hit ok. Now close this effects control for now, you can duplicate now this background layer, hit control plus D or go edit and then duplicate, hit F3 again to show this effects control, delete the emboss effect. For the fractal noise let's also make a few adjustments, now for the contrast for this second layer let's type here 950, for the brightness let's type here minus 100, complexity lower down to 2. Ok, open up this transform option again, instead of 200 let's type here 40, ok, now this is looking cool. And also let's change midtones and highlights here in Triton option, Triton effect. Now for the midtones let's change color to this cyan blue color, you can use eyedropper. And for the highlights let's find here darker blue color, something like this. Hit ok and let's add third effect, find here Gaussian blur. Ok, drag and drop here on the first layer and for the blurriness let's type here 10. And now let's also change blending mode from normal to add, if you can find blending modes hit here toggle switches and modes and let's find here add blending mode. This is our base background and now let's add more effects on the next layers, ok. Now let's duplicate this first background layer, hit ctrl plus D again, move it above this one and let's rename this one to animation bg animation background ok make sure that blending mode is set to normal and now let's make also a few adjustments here on the fractal noise but before that let's delete and bus effect again for the fractal type let's go find here dynamic for the noise type let's find here linear for the contrast let's type here 800 brightness minus 210 complexity lower down to 4 Ok, open up this transform option instead of 200, now let's type 100, cool. And also for the highlights and midtones, let's change highlights again. Let's find this shade of blue color or green color. For the midtones, let's find cyan color, something like this. And then hit ok. Now let's add our next effect, this is gonna be glow effect drag and drop onto the first animation background and for the glow threshold let's type here 75 glow radius let's go to around 200 now let's duplicate this glow effect hit ctrl plus d cool ok and now let's add our final effect this is gonna be cc mr mercury drag and drop onto the first layer and also let's make a few adjustments for the radius x let's type here 200 also for the radius y and also for the birth rate instead of 1, let's type here maybe 40. And now as you can see we have cool scene of our blobs here in the finals. For the next step let's hit S for animation background 
and go to around 102. And now when we hit zero in the finals, this is looking really awesome. Also what we can do is to grab animation background, go to around maybe two seconds and move it all the way to the left. So our animation starts immediately. Hit zero on your keyboard. And as you can see, we have our cool liquid background here in our final scene. Okay. For the final step, let's also animate evolution of the fractal noise effect. Hold Alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click. Let's type here time asterisk 100. And now we have also animation of the fractal noise effect here in the scene. Now let's close this effects control for now and let's create two new compositions. Hit Ctrl plus N. This first is gonna be text plus elements. Okay, 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. And let's also create another composition. This is gonna be text composition, 1920 by 300. Okay, also 30 frames per second, seven seconds long. And let's create our text here in text composition. Hit Control plus T or go on this horizontal type tool. I will just type random text, liquid. Okay, I'm using this Montserrat font for the font size 250. Okay, now let's align this to the center and make sure that in paragraph option, our text is centered like so. If you can find align and paragraph option, just go window and you will find align and paragraph options here. Okay, now go here at zero frames, open up this little triangle, find here on animate tracking option. And for the tracking, I will do 100 for the first keyframe. You can also type other numbers, it depends on your text size. I will set up my first keyframe here at zero frames, then go to around seven seconds and type here zero. And now, as you can see, we have this basic animation of the liquid text. Now hit W on your keyboard to show all of the keyframes, grab them and hit F9 to easy ease them on our keyboard. Okay, now let's open this text plus elements composition again. And from the project window, let's drag and drop text composition inside. Okay, this is looking cool. And now go in the final composition, copy this animation background, hit Ctrl plus C and paste it here in the text plus elements composition. Move it below the text composition. And for the track mat, let's find here alpha mat. And now, as you can see, we already have this cool looking liquid text. Okay, if you can find track mats, just go right click columns and find here modes. Okay, now hit here on the background again, or animation background, hit F3 on your keyboard. And for the contrast, let's type here 2000. And also for the highlights, let's change Triton from this color, maybe to dark, dark gray or pure black color. Hit OK, let's close this effects control for now. And also let's find here text plus elements in the project window and drag and drop here in the final composition. And now, as you can see, we have this cool animation of our liquid text. Okay, now let's duplicate this text plus elements composition, hit Ctrl plus D and move this composition to maybe two frames ahead, like so. You can also change composition color, go right click, find suitable color. And now let's go here in the facts and preset, find Triton effect again, drag and drop onto the text plus elements first composition. For the midtones, let's change to pure white color, hit OK. Now hit Ctrl plus D once again to duplicate this. Okay, for the Triton, let's find here maybe cyan blue color again, something like this. Hit OK, you can also change composition color. I will do random colors. Now hit Ctrl plus D again, move this one to six frames ahead, delete this uh, Triton effect. And now let's add here another effect. First effect that we're going to use is exposure effect drag and drop onto the first composition i will change this again to random color for the exposure let's type here two okay now let's add another effect this is gonna be bevel alpha drag and drop onto the first composition and now let's animate here also this bevel alpha effect set up the first keyframe here at six frames okay now type here for the edge thickness zero set up the first keyframe Go to around four or five seconds according your needs. I will do maybe to around five seconds and let's type here five. 
Okay, now as you can see, we have these uh, cool outlines of our liquid text. Okay, now let's add next effect. This is gonna be glow effect, drag and drop onto the also first composition. For the glow threshold, let's type here 100, glow radius 115. And for the glow intensity, let's type here two. Now hit control plus D for the glow effect to duplicate this once. Okay, and now in the finals, we have this cool animation. Also, what we can do is to duplicate this text plus elements once again, hit control plus D, move this to around eight frames ahead, change random color, and now hit F3 to show effect control. And for the exposure, instead of two, let's do four. Okay, and now in the finals, when we hit zero, we have this really cool and awesome animation of our liquid text. Now what we can do is to create adjustment layer, go right click, find here new adjustment layer. This is gonna be lens flare. Okay, go here in the facts and preset again, find lens flare effect, drag and drop on the adjustment layer. And here for the flare brightness, let's type here 110, blend with the original maybe 50%. For the lens type, change here 105 millimeters prime. And for the flare center, you can play around. I will do upper left corner, somewhere like here. And now this is looking awesome in the final scene. Okay, for the final step, we can also create another light. Go right click, find here new solid layer. This is gonna be light O2, hit OK. Now left click on this light O2 to select it again. Hit Q on your keyboard for a few times or go here on this uh, icons, hold left mouse click, find ellipse tool, and then hold control and shift on your keyboard. Make sure that this light O2 is selected and let's draw a perfect circle like this. Open up this mask property and for the mask feather, let's type here 400. Now select this light O2 again, go in the facts and preset, find fill effect. Okay, and here you can play around with the colors. I will do maybe this cyan one, hit OK, and now hit T for opacity. I will do it to around 25. And as you can see, you can move it up or down here in the final scene to make this scene even better looking. Also, what you can do is to duplicate this light O2. This is gonna be light O3. Move it maybe on the opposite side of the scene. You can also change the color, maybe this one, something like this, play around until you're satisfied with the results. You can also hit T and lower down or up the opacity of the lights. Okay, now hit zero in the finals. And for me, this is looking really cool and really, really awesome. Okay. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. Like always, I hope you learned something new. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future content. I have forgotten to tell you that you can also import your logo here. Just go inside this text plus elements and text and import your logo here. And it will show up here in the final composition. Also take a look on my channel for more great tutorials and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.